be okay. I have to go. No! Hey everyone, Thornton and Smash here, and today we're gonna to be talking about some of the big plans Respawn has for the future of Apex Legends and where the games are gonna be taking place in the future. And I'll cover that Ash skin in the thumbnail as that has been data mined and found. Along with that, I have to announce the winner of the third heirloom. So if you see your comment in the video at the bottom of the screen, that means you are the winner. Just message me in the Discord link in the description and I'll get you your prize. Now let's talk about what's going on with Apex. So in season 11, we got the brand new map Storm Point and it has been well received by fans. I myself have been enjoying it very much. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but for the most part, it's pretty well received. But if you're not a fan of it, or you just want new maps in general, and I've gone over this before, Respawn has stated that we are going to be getting a new Battle Royale map every single year around the same cadence that we normally do, so expect the winner, and that they have playtested things all the way up to season 16, which means this map is already built, and they are now getting it finalized to get ready when it comes at the end of 2022. And we've actually been given a ton of hints on where the next map is going to take place and what world we'll be visiting. And there's two big things that you need to know. The first thing is that in the lore of Apex Legends and Titanfall, there is a faction known as the Syndicate who are actually the ones that run the Apex Legends games. And they have a big project to help rebuild the Outlands. And the Outlands are a small part of a galaxy. Now you have your core systems and there are actually a ton of them, but none of the Apex Legends planets we know of so far ever take place on a core planet. They all take place in the Outlands, which is Syndicate space. And each of the planets in Syndicate space that we have played on for a Battle Royale map have been home to current Legends. For instance, Solus, which is the planet that Kings Canyon takes place on, is home of Gibraltar, Mirage, Revenant, and Watson. The planet Talos, where World's Edge is located, is home to Bloodhound. The planet Sumathi, which has the map Olympus, is the home of Lifeline, Octane, Horizon, as well as where Pathfinder was created. And Gaia, which is the planet where Storm Point takes place on, is home of Caustic, Crypto, and Rampart. So Respawn has clearly set it up so that maps are tied to current Legends' birthplace, and that it is also part of Syndicate space in the Outlands. And there are only a few other planets that remain viable viable that we know of that could be a map. There are two worlds in the Outlands that we know about that have not joined the Syndicate space, Nexus and Raffi, so both of them are ineligible currently. We also know of Tartarus, which is a Syndicate planet, but nothing else is known about it. We don't know of any legend that comes from there, so until we get some more backstory, including Tartarus, that likely won't be a place. Now, the next planet is Boreas, which is a planet in the Outlands. It is controlled by the Syndicate, and it is the home of Seer. The Arena's map, Encore, however, is already a map in the game that takes place on this planet. There is one last one though, and it makes a ton of sense. And that is gonna be Salvo, which is the home of Fuse. And you're thinking, oh, well, that's only one legend. Well, it's also the home of Mad Maggie, who is leaked to be a future legend. She will be coming at some point, but we actually have a lot of in-game teasers along with promotional trailer footage that actually points towards Salvo, which we haven't seen with any other planet. The first one is back in season seven before Fuse was introduced, giant ships floated around saying Salvo has joined the syndicate. And since the syndicate is in the business of rebuilding the Outlands, as they say, it seems like a pretty good idea to boost the economy of a planet by introducing the Apex games there, but we've also actually seen the planet itself. And in the stories from the Outlands for Fuse, we clearly see Maggie sitting at a desk, and on the screen is the planet Salvo being announced as joining Syndicate Space. Don't forget, Respawn gave us a huge in-game teaser that we were going to Storm Point when they did the Medusa Vines taking over Olympus. The in-game teaser for Salvo joining the Syndicate seems to be along the same lines. In regards to that Ash skin, it is a data mine skin found by Hypermist it is not in the regular game files, which is why none of the other data miners have shown it. It comes from an internal build that somehow someone got a hold of. It will most likely come to the game, especially because it has that matching bow check bow skin. Although when it will come in, we don't know. It could actually be one of the epics for the collection event. Let me know down in the comments below what kind of map you would like to play if we get Salvo as the next planet. Along with that, congratulations to the third heirloom winner. And if you want a chance to win 2000 Apex coins, just click this video right here about the top 10 best games coming in the year 2022. And make sure you're subscribed and you leave a comment and until next time legends keep slaying in the outlands and i'll see you out there